Eh, shalom akim. Shalom am akim wa akwath. Yabashim al shai brak a thumb to your brothers and sisters out there worshiping the Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth, man. May the Lord be with you in your houses. As the days go by, man, we're getting closer and closer to the end. And a lot of things are happening for us, showing us that the Heavenly Father, what he promised and what he prophesied he would do is happening, okay? Hey, but with that being said, man, all praise to you, Abba Shema Washai, man. Let's give all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Yahweh was the father, Yahweh Shai, that's the beloved son, the to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, and peace and peace and mercy to you, brother and sisters, once again, man. All right, like you see the title of this thing, um, the title of this thing, um, um, you know, we're 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 loving, we're loving. Man, I forget it already. But basically, damn, it, it slipped my mind. But um, we're loving what we're seeing what the Heavenly Father doing, you know? Forgive me, it slipped my whole mind because I came up with it on the fly. This is like an open forum. And Lord, well, it's going to be one of them high moly, highly motivational. Like, I'm, I'm full of energy right now. So, um, yeah, man, but what, what even struck this video, what even motivated me to do this video was the... Um, the, the the brother out there in New York, um, Amawan Gabor did the video. Um, what was it called? It was called, I forget what it was called, but basically he was going into how Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson, he basically was fired. And then they got rid of Don Lemon too. But they're basing it around because Tucker Carlson is, uh, because he's talking about us brothers, the Israelites. And when I seen that, I was like, man, that's man, that's that's like, it just made me happy. It made me happy because we're seeing what the Lord said He would do. We're seeing it, and all the bull crap that's going around the world is coming to a head. It's coming to a head, and all, all these people, is going to realize that we have the truth. Everybody going to realize we have the truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. But like he was, um, the brother was showing a clip of a, a Edomite talking about how. The Biden administration is is working on coming against free speech because of the, what he called the African Hebrew Israelites or you know Black Hebrew Israelites as they call us. That's what he said. And when I heard that, I'm thinking to myself, man, that's right, man. Because the moment that they come get us is the moment this thing is over. It's over. Matter of fact, let's go right here to Matthew's 24 and 14. It says. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into, I'm sorry. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. I love that verse. The moment that the Lord's word go all throughout the world, throughout all the nations, the end will come. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, starting with the apostles, we've been, uh, uh, the apostles been teaching since the 80s and the 90s. Then you had the Boca brother that came in in 2007. And then, brother, we've been teaching from the brothers that came in from that point and all the years after that, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, etc. cetera, on. We've been faithfully teaching to the point where now everybody knows about us. When they see us on the corners, we become a normal, you know? We became a part of, like, how the society runs. They'll know oh, every Saturday or whatever respective day you go out there, they'll be like, oh, that's where the Hebrew Israelites be at. You know them guys, and the, they, they call it dresses. They got dresses and they yell to the top of their lungs. We became like normal to society, man. Because we've been digit, like Peter said, we've been making our calling and election sure, giving diligence. So the scripture said, in this gospel, what we're preaching, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, and all the true doctrine. It says, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. You got brethren in Africa, you got brethren in Europe, you got brethren throughout the Middle East, you got brethren in Australia, you got brethren all in Canada and Alaska and Hawaii, Central and South America. And it's been years of it, years of, of flooding the internet, years of flooding um, the, 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 the YouTube 
with videos. Majority of everybody know about the Hebrew Israelites now. So that's why we see in the CBDCs, which ties in with the, the prophecy of Revelation, the 13th chapter, the MOTB, the mark of the beast. That's why we see in that come forth. And that's why we also see in war at the at its at its at his head. We're seeing it because the gospel has been spread everywhere. The brethren are waking up. There's Israelites everywhere. Ask Vocab Malone. This dude didn't did a whole little, like a, a sin, um, what is it called? Census? He did like a census on us. He explained that there's like millions of Israelites. But of course, all Israel is not of Israel. Everybody, there's many are called, but few are chosen, you see? So it don't matter about the numbers. It matter about who the elect is. So when I heard they, you know, do tying it back that Tucker Carlson and guys like Don Lemon got fired from Fox and CNN or whatever they was working at. I don't know. I don't keep up with it. But they got fired. These dudes are, these dudes been on those shows for a long time. And it's because of speech. They're trying to get rid of freedom of speech. It's all in the threats of freedom of speech where our power, um, the power of this gospel lies in our our teachings. You see, scriptures tell you in Romans 10 and 17, faith come by hearing. You know. So let's go right here to Amos 8 and 11. We always bring We've been bringing this scripture out for year after year, man. And now you see that the Biden administration is 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 basically funding whatever organization organization to get rid of freedom of speech and everything like that. Let's go make it happen. This Amos 8 and 11, it says, behold, the days come, saith the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. So the Lord going to get to that point where he going to shut the mouth of the prophets. Then what? Then when everything start taking place that the Lord has been putting in our mouth to speak to you guys. When that start taking place, you're going to be looking for us. Hey, what you say? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Or how'd you know that? Or man, dude, everything you said was real. I remember um, when the um, when the when the whole little crown royal thing came about, we had certain brethren. Um. People was hitting them up. Even the mechanic that me and another brother, we share the same mechanic. And he was saying, he talking to me. I'm <laughs> let me tell you how it goes. He talking to me about the brother Daniela. He like, man, everything Daniela said was true, bro. You gotta listen to him. You gotta like, man, this dude know what he's talking about. And I'm listening to myself, like, bro, I'm his brother, and I do the work with him. But, you know, I didn't say, you know, the scripture said, be as one that knoweth, but yet hold of his tongue. I just let him talk. But I'm thinking to myself, like, man, we trying to tell y'all. We've been trying to tell y'all, man. And it's going to get back to that stage once again. But it's going to even be on a more grand scale of you people asking questions about what to do. What's coming next? And the word of the Lord going to be a, a, like a famine in the land. And that's when the stock that we have, brother, going to shoot out the roof. You're going to see how your value shoot out the roof in that day. And that's why the scripture tell you that one uh, uh, one man should take seven women in Isaiah 4 and 1. Check this out, because this is not the first time the Lord has did this. This is 1 Samuel 3 and 1. It says, this is dealing with the prophet Samuel. It says, in the child Samuel ministered unto the lord before eli and the word was precious in those days there was no open vision so during that time when the, the priesthood was getting transferred from eli to samuel there was no word of the lord it was precious in those days you you couldn't find it there was no open visions So it's going to come to that point again when the word of the Lord is going to become precious. You know? And I don't got, I left everything I have. I left my whole backpack. I wish I had my tablet. I would look up the word precious and everything, but it's all fine. You know? Just open for him. But 
Nonetheless, the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai gonna become precious again. And I can't wait. And that's gonna be us, brethren. We have the preciousness of the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai. <laughs> Man, it, 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 brothers, I'm telling you, don't worry about not having no money. Don't worry about having, you ain't got the, the proper housing. You probably live in an apartment. You probably live with somebody. Don't worry about none of this stupid world status that this place um, hold people in high regards. Don't worry about none of that stupid stuff because when the when the when things go down and the word of the Lord become precious, you're gonna shoot out the roof like a the best stock ever created, you know? You're gonna shoot out the roof, man. This is Isaiah chapter um Isaiah 33 and 6, man. We gotta go back to the things that the Lord said. <clears throat> Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, In wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of your times. And the strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure this treasure of having his truth is going to be a it's going to be the knowledge and wisdom of knowing his truth is going to be our stability we going to have it they're not when he saw start telling everybody you have to go to this uh your nearby school system your nearby school that you set up when the lord start um i mean with esau i'm sorry my mind's going fast when Esau start to do that to the people, people ain't going to know what the fuck to do. They're going to be like, damn, I don't trust them. I remember that they used to do whoop, whoop, whoop in, in places like that. But I'm hungry. I need to go there. Maybe they won't do that to me. You going to take your black crusty self to one of these schools or one of these whatever it's. Uh, say, for instance, you live next to a university. They got a football stadium sealed off for you. You're going to go there. And you're going to be destroyed there. You're going to get you're going to get chipped up. You won't get destroyed there. You know? And we going to know at that day, we going to know what to do and what not to do. And we going to wait on the Lord when it seemed to get scarce. When food gets scarce. Or when you don't know what's going to happen next. We going to wait on y'all by Shemel Shai, man. And this has been our bread and butter the whole time. This is where we stand tall at. It just ain't that this right now. Since society is still intact, the word of the Lord ain't got its status as it, 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 it will get. But watch when soon as society collapse. Watch soon as the prophets' mouths get sealed. And they and they make it to where you can't just say freedom of speech. <laughs> Let me grab a couple of you brothers, hot boys. I seen a brother put the word precious up there. The water for that, bro. For the bro, um, the come of Yahweh's children. It says, um, precious, a substance of great value, not to be wasted or treated carelessly. Precious work of art. There we go right there. You know, we have that right now. We got it. Here it is. The guy, the guy, that, the brother, um, the elder brother, Amua Gabar was showing. The guy was explaining that the African, the African-American Hebrew Israelites, however he was saying it. He was saying, man, these guys, they say all type of different stuff. They believe in all type of crazy things. But we don't do nothing to nobody, though. We don't hurt nobody. We don't blow up no schools. We don't do none of that stupid stuff. All we do is teach the word of y'all by Shemel Shai. That's all we do. You know? So why is they using, why is Biden administration using them as a, a, as a catalyst to get rid of free, free speech? It's the reason why, because we have the freaking truth. We're telling you what your freaking government is doing. We're telling you who your government is ran by. What is the plans of the future? Obviously, we can't be that damn crazy. No, you people are crazy. That's what it is. So like Isaiah 33 and 6 says, um, we're going to have stability. You not. You know, and we speak bold when we say that, man. We're not joking to you about what we're saying about us having stability and you not you know <clears throat> let me get this by gms virgin islands straight gate shalom to the brother man keep going brother jeremiah 6 and 10 it says to whom shall i speak and give warning that they may hear behold their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken behold the word of the lord is unto them as a reproach they have no delight in it that's a very good scripture so here it is. The Lord's been speaking. He's talking to you, Jakes. 
you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, he's speaking. Every Saturday, we got to get up and do the week or whatever respective day. The Lord put the spirit in us to get up and get out there. It don't matter if it's cold. It don't matter if it's hot. No matter what it is, it don't matter if you're going through something at the house. It don't matter whatever's going on with us. We sit in that sun. We sit in that cold and we teach. But the words are reproached onto you. You niggas still worried about the wrong things. You still worried about money and women. Women still worried about getting over, over on a nigga and partying and, and, and BSing. But what, 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 this whole time, as the scriptures say, freely, freely you have received, freely give. We've been giving this thing through the spirit and power and the grace of the Lord for free. And this is the best stock ever. You don't want to invest in this. That's why you're going to be, you going to be without stability in that day. You know, let me grab another run, a couple more from you brothers. This is a GMS called into grace 444, Jeremiah 9, 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his strength. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory glorify in this, that he understand and know of me. I'm talking about that's If that's not my number one favorite scripture, it's be, that scripture got to be my number one favorite scripture out of all scriptures. That's my favorite one. And Jeremiah 14 and I think like 16 come right after where the Lord going to save us. It's no more going to be said. The Lord deliver us from the land of the um, from the land of Egypt, from the land of the north, though. Them were some of my favorite scriptures that I just, I love them scriptures. And that scripture right there, that brother just put, man, it's a, uh, every day, every time I pray, I, I say that scripture. I, I thank the Lord that I know him. It's a lot of people that are walking around, they do whatever they want. They don't know the Lord. Though. And that's crazy. How don't you know the Lord? When everything around you is his, is his, is his receipts that he's real. From the animal world to how men work, to how women work, to how everything just rotates, the sun, the moon, the stars. You out your damn mind. But it's a blessing to know the Lord, and we know him. So when the Abba Shemel Shai starts to, uh, um, when the Heavenly Father, the Abba Shemel Shai, start to judge the world, the scriptures say, the Lord knoweth all them that, that uh, man, how that. I don't got it. If a brother may grab that, the Lord knoweth all them that fear him and delivereth them, something of the sort. The Lord know all those that put their trust, that put their trust in him. It's it's, it's a couple of verses that say things like that. I would need, I would need the search bar to find them. But if a brother could find them, you know? So we know the Lord, and the Lord knoweth them to trust in him. It's crazy. And he know if I to deliver. I may be putting like three scriptures together there. Forgive me. But nonetheless, that's a beautiful scripture right there, man. You know? <clears throat> let me see. Uh, um, let me see. I'll grab a couple. Who that sick crying out, laugh later, laugh later, laugh later. Uh, Romans 8 and 28, it says, We know that all things work together for the good of them that love Yahweh by Hashem Shai, and to them who are called according to his purpose. So everything that's going down is working for us. Everything that's going down is working for us. And I thank the Lord for that. Yeah, get rid of freedom of speech. That's working for us. Get rid of the cash. That's working for us. You know? Cause war. Keep Keep going. Blow somebody up. I don't care. It's working for us. Get the war popping. Get the Revelation 13 chapter prophecy. Get it popping. You know? Cut it, cut the prophets' mouths off. Make it to where you're gonna persecute anybody that step on your streets and bring out the Bible. Do all of it. Because that's how we gonna get out of here. That's how the word of Yahweh Shem El Shai gonna be fulfilled, and we're gonna get out of here. So it's like Esau, the Edomites, the elites of the society, they're kind of putting the pickle. They know they need to crash it. They, need, they know they need to bring in the CBDCs. They know they need to do all of that. But they know if they, if when they do it, it's the heavenly, they, 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 they're considering if when they do it, 
is the Heavenly Father really going to stick his hand out there and, and stop this man? That's what he's dealing with in his mind. Is the Lord really going to show himself? You know? Um, that's what he's want. That's what he's minding. You know? Let me grab another one from you brothers, man. That's right, right there. Hopeful elect behavior. Um, Psalms 146 and 5. Happy is he that have the heavenly father, uh, the God, the power of Jacob for his help, whose help is the Lord, his God. That's a very beautiful uh, scripture right there. So we happy about that. We, we understand and know the Lord. We know what to do that's correct, and we try trying our hardest by it. You know, every day, day in and day out, we own it. You know, we the, the spirit of the Lord has moved us to give up anything that was in the way, whether it was a job, a woman, a family, a status, you know, whatever it was, the Lord moved us to get rid of it. And then to start focusing, investing in, in him. And we got the most precious thing right now, the most precious, better than anybody's job out there, better than anybody's status out there. And we finna see it. We finna see it, man. We are finna see it. Let's go back to that Matthews. This is Matthews 24 and, and, and 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. That's why we always pushing. The Spirit of the Lord had moved the apostle to hard to, to, to push us even further, to push out videos. First, it was, uh, you know, just getting on brothers to do the work, do the work. Make sure you out there on the streets. And then it got to the point where do your lessons during the week. Make sure you're doing your lessons during the week. And then it got to the point where three videos a week. And a lot of guys got offended and fell off because of um, how the Lord was graduating us to, to do more works, giving us more responsibilities. A lot of guys got offended and left because niggas are lazy. You didn't took on the, the, the spirit of the Edomite. Israelites naturally is not lazy people, man. We are sheep herders. You know? We kept our we kept up our own land. But now we've been tainted with that 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 laziness of, of America. So a lot of niggas fell away because the Lord was putting in the spirit to do more, push the word out more and more and more. But nigga, didn't the scripture just said that when this gospel get preached in the end of the world, the end shall come? So we need to push the word out. And that's how brethren get, get um, woke up that's across the seas. They skimming through the internet and, oh, what's this? They click on it and they stuck ever since. You see? It's, uh, let's jump down to verse... Um, Jump down to verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as will not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect day sake, those days should be shortened. So the Lord is making this, He's making, He's doing this thing actually like it's like a, you know, these years just flew by, man. We didn't see brother grow up over the internet. <laughs> We didn't see brother and grow up literally. Brother and guy, brother and started off. They probably they beard was very shallow. Now they got full beards or something. You know, you see me when I first got out there. I, I didn't even. I barely had a mustache in this man. Now I got a little bit more on me. So we've seen brother and grow up. So it's actually it. It actually flew by when you think about it. It actually flew by, man. And it's continually flying by. We're already at the end of April. We're basically in May. This year is, is going to fly by. Four more months. Four, and then another four, you, we out of here. Uh, out of this year. You know? Let's go right here. What's that? Zephaniah, I believe it is. You know, I grab a couple of you brothers more. Oh, you brother and hot boys. Um... That's it right there, man. Virgin Islands, Straight Gate, uh, Matthew 25 and 23. It says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. 
Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And that's what that's what we finna receive if we stick to this thing. Whoever these elect men are, that's what you finna receive. You was faithful. You were faithful over doing the work, being brotherly, following and staying in order. You know, this little thing we got to do now. So since you did that, here, you're going to be jurisdiction over this portion of land. You know, you're going to have that. Matter of fact, you're going to have this, this planet over here. You're going to be the, the government of that planet. Man, the Lord going to give us some stuff like, like never before. And it's because we just kept the word of the Lord the whole time. And like I seen, a, I think our brother, I seen a brother put that Sirach, well, yeah, 17 and 15. Hate not laborers work by uh, Azarol, Yahawada. Hate not laborers work, neither husbandry, which the Most High have ordained. Since we didn't hate it, we, we, we didn't shun it. Certain guys shunned it. They felt like there was too much for them. But nigga, you go to work every single day. When you don't want to go to work, you got to go. When you're sick, if you ain't sick to where you can't move, you got to go. You was there sick. Every single day. So you feared, you feared this Edomite and to do his work, but you couldn't simply, you couldn't do that to the, the man, the uh, the one who created you. You see how y'all brush me shot going to pull these jakes. He going to pull that card. He going to pull your card, man. And you ain't going to have nothing to say. Because what can you say if judgment take place on you? What could you say? Right? It was a token that your ass was off when you get jacked up. You know? <clears throat> Let me see, man. Yeah, let me close out with this, man. But the water for all you brethren on the board, man. With, with uh, the, the, the bomb, the bombs. Let me go right here to, I think it's Zaphaniah. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, yep. Zephaniah chapter, um, Zephaniah 1 and 17, it says, And I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out like dust, and their flesh as the dung. See, the Lord going to start dropping people. It's going to be so crazy. It's like when we see it, it's like, man. It's just like our words don't, it don't, it's like our, our, our words, they weak compared to what the Lord actually going to do, man. And we can't wait till the Lord do it because we're going to, you know, it's, hey man, freak it. We're going to say, we told you, you can call it pride all you want. We're going to be like, well, I told you, man, you thought we was playing. You thought we, you thought we was doing the word of the Lord and, and gave up everything for nothing. Fool the Lord put the spirit in us. You understand the Lord put the spirit in us, man. That's why we dropped everything, all friends. I still be running to my friends and stuff. They, I be like, man, you, you through. You still in the same boat. When I jumped out of that boat, you stayed in that same boat. You going through the same problems. You getting all fat. You know, the woman sleeping around on you. You know, I'm sorry, but I just like, damn, it's like your brother. <laughs> um, so the Lord going to start pouring out their blood like dust. And their body's going to be like dung on the ground. <laughs> the Heavenly Father going to allow this Edomite to have they, his way with you, Edom, with you Israelites. It says, neither their silver nor their gold should deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. All that money and all that bag chasing, it ain't going to do nothing when the Lord start to drop you. You ain't going to be able to pay your way out of the Lord's judgment. It says, but the whole land should be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he will make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. So when the Lord start to let loose, that's his jealousy on y'all. And you don't want to mess with the Lord's jealousy. You thought OJ Simpson, when he killed that, 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 that woman or whatever, you thought he was something else. No. No. You're going to see when the Lord get jealous and he start killing his creation. At that moment, everybody's going to start think, believing in believing in that there is a higher uh, God and their power. At that moment, 
See, they forgot that the Lord flooded the earth. And then when the Lord flooded the earth, you know what he did? He put a he put a rainbow in the sky to show the world that he did that. And people, it rains in it or it rains in a rainbow get in the sky, and people just think, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just a beautiful, it's probably a pot of gold at the end. Man, that rainbow represents the Lord killed everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? He only saved eight people. And that he would never flood the earth again. So even though you're looking at a, a, a beautiful thing, it's it's um signification is that a lot of people died. <laughs> so now the Lord finna make a speedy rid of this land. He's gonna sweep that fire through nuclear nuclear destruction through World War III. He's gonna sweep it across this land, and all y'all gonna melt in it that ain't written to be saved. So now we're getting to that point where the word of the Lord is being, it's going to be shut up. That means that the gospel has been preached and the end shall come. So through the spirit and power, y'all by Shemel Shai, through all the all you brethren, your precepts, you know, and uh, you sisters that stopped by, I hope that was edifying. Like I said, it was kind of more of an open forum. So forgive me if I, it wasn't so structured. But hey, through the spirit and power, y'all by Shemel Shai, I hope that was highly motivating you to like, yeah, it's, it's own. That's freaking, let's own. It's own, man. Hey, so through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, I leave it out by saying Shema, Yahshua, Yahweh Allah, Yahweh Yahweh Kud, which is the Shema prayer, which means Hero Israel, the Lord our power is one. Yahweh Shemel Shai, Bakatam, Makim, Step Shalom.